I would say gender equality means a lot of things, but in general, just we're all equals. And I think that so much of the inequality has been designed and has come about because of society. I first started to notice gender inequality more so late high school, probably um, into college. Oh, that team, you know, that men's team gets better facilities or that sort of thing, the different treatment. Definitely as I transitioned from college into a professional career, that's when I really started to feel it. This is the first year that uh, the state of Utah got a professional women's sport team, which is so exciting. Goals for Girls is an organization that's using sport to teach young women leadership with a hope to inspire community change. Real Salt Lake got in touch with everyone Goals for Girls, wanted to partner with them, wanted to bring the summit here to Utah to have the first domestic summit. The head of Real Salt Lake Foundation contacted all of us and as soon as I read the description I was like, this sounds awesome, I want to be a part of this because I was thinking I would have just loved to have gone to something like this when I was their age. As the women we've won the World Cup and our bonus for winning doesn't even come near what the men make for making out of their group. I think when money becomes involved, you can measure it, you know, like it's actually, you can see it on paper, black and white, this is unequal. The summer after my first year of teaching, I headed to Uganda. I was introduced to a soccer league that was using sport as a way to re-socialize war-affected kids. I was really inspired by the way that they were using sport for intentional social impact. And I just felt like we could be doing so much more with sport in our communities. It's really rare to be in a situation where you've got a small group of girls and you've got a Muslim girl from Sudan, we've got a Hindu Indian girl, or you know, a Christian Utah girl. Putting them in the same space and talking about gender issues, everyone's gonna have something different to say, but that's that gives a learning opportunity. So through our, our Goals for Girls Leadership Summit, we're trying to get the girls to translate what they're learning on the field to off the field. So the whole premise is this first day, it's essentially two blocks of two hours. They break into smaller groups, and that's a lot about, one, my session was confidence, and then there's two other sessions that kind of touch on more character, personal growth. Where where do you find confidence? Where do you get, where do you get confidence? Yeah, I got confidence in my school and from my parents. I gain a lot of perspective hearing other people talk, mentors, people I look up to. To be able to share with them that even myself as a professional athlete, playing on the world's biggest stage and having success on the world's biggest stage doesn't always translate to this absolute self-confidence. Who here feels like they don't have as much confidence as they wish they did? You might realize the, the um, kind of climate that we're in, in gender inequality and that sort of thing. And I think that at your point, you guys are in such a formative time period of your lives. When you guys go on to college or you go on to work in, in the corporate world or you, know, you go on to play, you value yourself as equal to anyone else out there, male, female, whatever. Um, and I think that's something that no one can ever take away from you. Leadership, obviously everyone thinks of leadership. It is such a powerful tool. If, you, if you're able to be a leader, people follow you. You know, you're able to affect change um, on a team, in the classroom, at a school, in your community. It's a powerful mechanism. And I think that if we are able to give those tools to these girls, they're able to give what they've learned here and bring other peers along, male or female. Leadership is all about lifting up the people around you and bringing them on a journey with you. You have to work towards equality for everyone. Your value, your worth as a human isn't based on um, what society says, it's based on you're, you're a human, you're an individual, and every person has the same equal value. We're trying to help these girls to see that no matter who or where they come from, they can create incredible change in their communities. In uh, Gold for Girls Leadership Summit, we can learn many, many things of here. It's, it's a good thing, to, how to be change our community, how to change ourselves, and how to change our skills. <laughs> I think 
the biggest thing and in speaking with people who have been around this summit is that these three days are super formative and the years they're in are as well. They have the ability to change the world. They're young, there's so much life ahead of them. I hope girls walk away from the Goals for Girls Leadership Summit realizing and understanding that they have uh, you know, the potential to become anything they want to become, that they have potential to see challenges and that they really can do something about those challenges that they see. I'm not proud or happy because we have such a long way to go in so many different areas of inequality, but I, I just really hope that we continue to grow individually and as a society and move towards that place. We should all strive to just be one, our best selves. In doing that, bring up the people around us. I think that if we can all put a smile on someone else's face throughout the day, I think the world's gonna be a little bit better place.